Hey Snatch Fam, I'm Reggie and welcome back to Snatch Queens. So as some of you guys know, I'm entering the NYX Face Awards 2017, which is the first NYX Awards in Singapore. And I decided to create something a little extra. Yes, yes. <laughs> I created this fairy of the fields look, and if you guys want to know how I did this look, then keep on watching. <laughs> okay, now let's do this enough with the accent. So I'm gonna be going in with a Morphe 9N blusher palette, and I'm gonna be using one of the shades as my transition color, and I'm just gonna be applying it like um, above my crease. Okay, so just to deepen up that color, I'm gonna be going in with a ribbon from Kat Von D Metal Matte and we're just going to be applying that slightly below the transition color and then you want to focus that color on your outer V but slowly dragging it in just a little to your inner corner okay still using ribbon you want to be shading your eye from your inner corner sorry from your outer corner towards like the center of your eye um, you kind of just want to do it roughly you don't have to blend it in So next, for the other eye, I used a different palette. This is Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance. And I'm using Burnt Orange for my transition color. And I'm applying it just above the crease. So the same thing, I'm going to be uh, deepening that color. And I'm using Real Gar, or Real Gar, from the palette. And we're going to be applying it slightly below the transition. Also, you want to bring that color in slightly to your inner corner, because we're going to be cutting the crease later. Okay, so I want to give this look a bit more of a berry tone kind of uh, smoke to it. So I'm adding Love Letter to the crease colors. And I'm just like blending it out in the crease so that it's diffused. And then you want to be shading it from the inner, sorry, from the outer corner of your eye towards the center as well. Because that's how I do it. Just listen. <laughs> okay, so it is kind of angled synthetic brush. Um, I'm loading it up with concealer and using that concealer to cut my crease and what I do is um, I look up because I have hooded eyes like that and I follow that line so that when I open my eyes I can still see the cut crease and you just want to shade it in halfway and you want to feather it out you don't really have to be precise with this alright so once that's done I'm using this flat synthetic brush to pack on Kat Von D's Flash from the Metal Matte Palette and it's actually a gold as you can see you can use any gold and then you want to fill it in halfway on top of the concealer and then when you reach that halfway mark you want to point your brush upwards and shade sideways so that it's blended you know it's not like BAM like gold gitu and then you want to extend that corner shadow towards the gold so that it's even more blended I'm gonna be doing the same thing for the other eye I'm using Primavera from the ABH Modern Renaissance palette and basically it's the same steps on the other eye, just different color. So next with the NYX White Liquid Liner, you want to draw on top of that crease to kind of like define it with the white and you want to have the ends taper out so it's not so thick. <laughs> it's not so thick. To get the effect right, you want the pressure to be uh, the most at the start and you slowly release the brush if that makes sense so that it tapers out and if you ever make it too thick <laughs> you can always clean it up with the eyeshadow oh y'all gonna love this part y'all see that y'all see that <laughs> so I actually decided to draw my liner on camera after practicing so many times because some of you guys think that I get people to draw my eyeliner on or I have a cheat code or something, but it's not. Honey, see that? It's just a flick of the wrist. Damn, look at that flick of the wrist. Damn. <laughs> but in all seriousness, you just want to imagine that you're drawing an imaginary line from your lower lash line to connect to your eyebrows. And then you want to just clean up around that eyeliner so that your look is very clean, it's very crisp. And this is why I like to do my eye makeup first and then my base. Is that a hole in my eyebrow? What the... Okay, so I'm just applying on some primer and as you can see, I like to work it in my skin so that them holes be filled. 
Alright, ain't nobody trying to look like Rocky Road ice cream today, okay? So make sure that y'all work it in your skin, alright? And once that's done, I'm gonna be applying my LA Girl Pro Coverage Foundation. And I really like this foundation, like, it's pretty full coverage. And as you can see, I like to lay down the product first, and I like to work around my liner so it keeps it sharp. I know y'all gonna say I'm extra, but I'm extra. If y'all are using a flat top foundation brush like I am, press the foundation in so that you can have the maximum coverage. Yeah. Or just use a booty blender. And once that's done, y'all can set your face with your favorite powder. And y'all wanna beat that face in. Y'all wanna like beat until your mother will call an ambulance that kind. No lucky. Y'all just wanna press the powder in and then brush off the excess. And you have set your face. So actually by pressing in the foundation 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 like that, right? It makes my foundation last longer. And for bronzer, I'm gonna be going in with the blush palette from Murphy and bronze my face up with it. Cause I want this look to be like creative and avant-garde, you know? So just bronze around the face, you know, the typical perimeters. And then for contour, we are gonna be going in with ribbon and just contouring, you know, the hollows of the cheekbones. Yeah, forehead, the size of your nose. Some people actually contour the nose and they just follow around the nose and they have a fat nose. So if you guys want a full contouring and highlight video, then just let me know down in the comments below. Okay, so taking ribbon, we're going to be using that same color and we're going to be smoking that underneath the lash line. And you guys want this really blended out, so I would suggest using a fluffy brush. And then with no additional product or just a clean blending brush, you can blend out the edges so that it's a smooth blend. For the other eye, I'm using Love Letter to smoke out the lower lash line. But I'm doing it roughly because I'll be applying flowers to that side and I'll be mostly covering that up. And then I'll be spritzing MAC Fix Plus all over my face to take out the powderiness. My Fix Plus is repackaged by the way because I like to bring it around. And then before that dries, I'm going to be applying some highlight on top of my cheeks. You can use any highlight that you want, but I'm using a pink highlight from the Daisy Danger X Morphe palette. Applying your highlight before the Fix Plus dries actually foils the highlighter on your cheeks so it pops more. That's why my highlight is always popping. So to apply the flowers, you want to be applying lash glue on your skin first and then wait for it to become tacky. And then you apply the petals on your face because doing it this way actually um, makes the flower petals adhere to your skin more rather than applying it on the flower petals and applying it on your skin. To hide the edges of the petals, I actually applied glue and waited for it to become tacky. And then I packed that glitter on. So I'm using this NYX glitter in gold. And I, as you can see, I actually feathered it out with a brush so that it's not so... Um, packed and clumped and then after that I drew some inner corner white liner on because I mean I thought that the lower lash line was a bit too blank and then after that I painted on my lashes as well with the white liner so that it looks very blended with the white corner liner so I added NYX liquid crystal liner on my other eye because I mean might as well go all the way in right and I actually just applied it randomly and spreaded it around my eye so it doesn't look very uniform and streaky I actually went in with more glitter because I thought that it wasn't as popping and I used this NYX holographic glitter and I lightly swept it around before the liquid crystal liner dried for lips I'm using Jeffree Star's Velour liquid lipstick in mannequin then I highlighted my cupid's bow with a white liner to give the illusion that it's always popping and then once the lipstick is dried, I dusted on some pink highlighter on my lips to give it iridescence. And then I popped on some lashes and butterflies on my cheeks and was sudah habis. So that guys is how I did this look. Do follow Anna and I on Instagram and please like and subscribe on this video. Um, I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>